Hi guys, I had a request from Craft and Arts to make a fidget spinner from cardboard with no bearing. And so I made this one. And I explained that with no bearing, it's not going to spin very well. Because as soon as you put your fingers on it, the friction from your skin is going to slow it down. But I well, I made that one, and as you can see, it does spin, but it doesn't spin very well. You can do the usual things with a fidget spinner. You can just sort of sit there and turn it in your finger, which was the original idea of a fidget spinner. It was something to fidget with, but it doesn't spin like a modern fidget spinner toy. So we could try and increase the weight to give it a bit more mass so it spins a bit longer maybe. I don't see that I can add any weights to it because he specifically said made it make it from cardboard. If he wanted it to be made from lumps of metal or anything then he'd have said that. What I might do though is in the middle instead of having a big hole like that for my fingers to touch each other through I might make a small hole and just put something like a drinking straw through it so I can actually hold the ends of the drinking straw, maybe an eighth of an inch long or something like that, so my fingers don't actually touch the cardboard. And then it might spin a little bit longer. So I've got some much thicker card here. This is about two millimetres thick or yeah, probably about two millimetres thick. So I'm going to do the same design, which is just draw a circle, divide it up into three Draw three circles and then cut around it. Cutting this thicker card is going to be quite a bit more difficult, but we'll see what we can do. The dimensions are really a matter of what you can fit between your fingers when they're touched together and the back of your hand. Because if it's too big, then obviously it's going to hit your hand. But the bigger you can make it, the more mass it will have and the better it should spin. somewhere like that. Right, divide it up into three, we should be able to go on the circumference, use the same measurements, and we should link up. Okay.
some smaller circles on the outside. Cutting this out will be the hardest bit. Because that cardboard is pretty thick. Right, so see, cutting that out might be a problem. I think I'll go and drill some holes here, and a small one in the middle, then I can cut down to the hole instead of trying to turn in the middle. I've drilled my three holes, so now we'll see if we can cut into it.
although this card is much thicker than the other stuff I used, it's relatively soft. Okay, that's our basic shape. It's gone a little bit rough there where I drilled the holes. One thought I had was how about just putting a little screw through the middle. So, there we go, another fidget spinner. It's not going to be as good as one with a proper bearing in it, whatever I do to it. But that does run a little bit better than the first attempt. Yeah, that sort of works. And that's just using a little screw in the middle as the pivot point. There's the finished article. I've given it a couple of coats of spray paint just to make it look a little bit more interesting. And we've got that screw in the middle as the pivot point. So now it runs fairly freely. It's still going to do nothing like one with a one of those ball races in the middle. You're not going to be throwing it around doing tricks with it. But it does the job if you really, really, really want a cardboard fidget spinner. That'll do. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel, Grandad's Other Channel, is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. And if you fancy some Grandad merchandise, I have two shops. One on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Car. Finally, you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.